Congressman Mocan, Mark Pocan represents Wisconsin. Congressman Tim Ryan represents Ohio. They're both Democrats, and they both watched the hearing stage to the extent that they could. Thank you both for joining us. Thank you. Congressman Ryan, first to you. How does any of this help your constituents back in Ohio? It doesn't. That's yeah. why we want to be talking about jobs. But y your presentation there, Tucker, and I love you, but you left out the fact that the Republicans control the House, Republicans control the Senate. That was a Republican hearing we just saw. That's true. Both of those Republican committees are trying to investigate this, are investigating this. So it's not a Democratic initiative on our part. It's Republicans. You well, talk about, hold on, well, let me finish. That, that, let me say, that, that's a fair point. Just, I'm, I'm point. not here to let defend Republicans. <laughs> But the storyline is being driven by Democrats, and some Republicans stupidly are going along with it. I agree. We drive a lot of stories that it, when you have a congressional investigation by Republicans, it should elevate this whole debate above partisan politics, which is what we're trying to do here. You also mentioned Comey with L Loretta Lynch. I don't think Loretta Lynch or Hillary Clinton or anyone else thinks James, James Comey was taking a dive for the Democrats. Well, then, so well, your whole presentation there completely missed construed really in my estimation the facts on the ground taking a dive for the Democrats I think that James Comey Congressman Pocan admitted today not to get too precise about it that he went along with Loretta Lynch's command to refer to this as a matter rather than an investigation and that was a Clinton campaign talking point I'm not saying anyone ought to be impeached over it but it does raise the question to what extent was the previous administration putting political pressure on this guy Tucker you showed about six minutes of a three-hour hearing there's yeah. another two hours and 54 minutes where he said that the but president lied lines. but he said that the president lied he talked about a vice president President Pence may be knowing about Michael Flynn before he previously has admitted he knew about uh, the situation around Michael Flynn. We learned a whole lot of other things that should make every American, regardless of political party, very concerned. So, really? so, so what, what's, what exactly, and be, please be specific, what have we learned about the core allegation? The whole reason we're doing this is because the left alleged that they lost the election because Russia somehow hacked our election with the help of Donald Trump. So Did we learn anything about that what today? What we learned when 17 intelligence agencies told us the Russians uh, tried to interfere and did with our election. That's, that's not a true fact. 17 with, did not. Three out of 17. Yeah. Just as a factual matter. I, I read the classified report uh, and I can tell you uh, without a question, we know they interfered with our elections with the intent of electing Donald Trump. So we know that. The question is when you heard this testimony, we're finding out more and more about the possible collusion between not just the campaign officials of Donald Trump, but perhaps people in the cabinet, perhaps Perhaps his family members. Really, so perhaps just, Donald give, let's himself. be really specific, because we've gone back and forth Tucker, for seven months. You, you and I. What specifically did we learn today about? And I'm quoting you: the collusion between the Trump people and the government of Vladimir. We heard Putin. outright that the president lied about how he's been describing the narrative of the conversations that he had with the FBI director. So that alone tells us that how, there that could be collusion between Trump and Putin? obstruction of justice. Closer and closer to all these issues, I would argue, Tucker. Don't you think? Where's the evidence Tucker, of collusion? There was collusion. That you just alluded there was collusion during the campaign. Wouldn't you say that's treasonous? Well, I would say it's crazy. It's horrible. If a president is acting against exactly. his own country's so interests, in so my question way, is, Congress you're paralyzing is trying to get to the government. Right exactly. Now. We're trying to get to the bottom you of this. You represent a state. Oh, no, hold on. Where, the, if after we seven months, is talking. any evidence? I keep asking you, and you haven't provided any, any evidence. <laughs> seven months. Like, what is this? There's been no formal investigation. We have a head of there the, the a Republican head of the Intelligence Committee who has to recuse himself. There we have Attorney General who had to recuse himself. Let's have an independent commission. If the president has nothing to hide, he should should be for an okay. independent commission so we can move on to jobs and health care and everything else we need to do. Okay, so here's the lead, uh, Congressman Ryan, in the Cleveland Plain Dealer, hardly a right-wing newspaper today. How can government help in the opioid crisis? Ohio matters. The Comey stuff is buried in the back section because the truth is, and I'm not just saying this demagogically, it's true, this stuff is a distraction from a country that's hurting. Your district, you are well known for caring about the issues in your district, none of which include Russia. Mm -hmm. this, is a, this is paralyzing our government, and there's still no evidence it's real. So, like, what, what's the point of all this? <laughs> it's paralyzing our government because Donald Trump fired the head of the FBI who was investigating him potentially his campaign absolutely about Russian influence in our presidential election right. and possibly tipping the balance so if Trump wanted us to talk about and jobs possibly hold on I'm not finished if he wanted us to talk about jobs he should have left Comey in place let the investigation move forward say to the American people there's nothing to hide here I'm not gonna lie this about is anything so stupid I mean the investigation it is, is going forward actually it, it, as you well know it's in progress right now 
now. The criminal investigation by the FBI is in progress. It would right. never slow and for so one day. And so is the Republican Senate and Republican House it. So Intelligence here's Committees. Here's the point. At some juncture, members of Congress who are using this scandal to de distract from the fact that they've alienated the American working class and unions and all your traditional base, they're not for you anymore. Instead of dealing with their problems, it's like Russia, Russia, Russia. And I'm just waiting for the day when someone can say, is Tucker, there evidence? Tucker, are you not going to ask Donald Trump to take any responsibility at oh, all for this? What? For firing the head of the FBI well, who was know. investigating him. to fire the guy, but the core and, allegation And then is, think everyone's just going to go back to doing business? He fired the head of the FBI who's investigating his administration. What the hell did he think was going to happen? Can you honestly look at me right in the face and say that James Comey should have been the head of the FBI after the behavior he displayed during this election. No normal person watching that can say, I want this guy to be FBI director. <laughs> oh, no, I'm serious. After what he did to Hillary Clinton and going back and forth. I'm amazed, so I'm amazed at your concern for Hillary I'm Clinton. I'm not concerned. I'm I concerned said, about the on your show, law. the last time I was on, I said, look, if he fired, fired him the day after he was inaugurated, okay, fine. I honestly, don't, don't get one I honestly think this Russia may be the last time I speak to Democrats about Russia because I feel like it's fundamentally unreasonable. If the president collaborated with a foreign power, that is treason. It's a huge charge to make. All this time has been spent looking into it, and we are no closer to showing that actually happened. Can you concede that or not? I'm not defending Trump as an American. I mean every it. single week, we've had more information that about what's going on. there's collusion between Trump and Russia? The, are you the kidding? Trump campaign, Where is it? Trump campaign officials, most recently, Jared Kushner is now being questioned. His son-in-law, I mean, let's face it, every single week, more and more trickles so out. So being questioned is the same as being guilty? Where's the in evidence? Independent what commission I, could I clear all this up. Liberals are arguing we could clear all this up, Tucker. to imply something is the same as well, to prove it. No, independent commission would clear all this up. If you have a attorney general who has to accuse himself, right. which is unusual, and then the Republican ranking member of the intelligence House, the House Intelligence Committee has to recuse himself, yeah. there's a lot of unusual then behavior they must going be on. For Putin. I, to I but totally why agree. You guys read about you guys read about the McCarthy period at all? <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm sure. Why don't Why don't you right. ask President Trump to take any responsibility? Is he not responsible for, for any of this? with Russia? For firing his the head I'm of the FBI, fired, I mean, I'm, I'm, for giving I'm, secrets to the Russians in the White House. I mean, where do you? How much further do you want to, to this, lie? This is actually to, insane. This is insane. Uh, this is crazy. And that he somehow subverted American national security by giving secrets to the Russians in the White no, but House. But you're talking about par you're talking about paralyzing government, okay. which we are right now. And then you're trying to blame the Democrats who don't control the House or don't I'm control the, the Senate. the Republicans as well. I think this whole story is a massive lie. Right, I think so. it's mass hysteria at its worst, and I think it's scary how people can get so irrational. That's what I really. So I don't want you talking to Republicans either. Now, <laughs> good point. Okay, gentlemen, thank you.